Well, a difference of opinion tonight at the border over a plan now in place to kind of help deal with the influx of migrants that we've been reporting about for you. Some say this plan is inhumane, but U.S. officials say it's really just designed to reduce the number of people crossing the border. We've got our Ken Molasina live for us in El Paso. And Ken, as we've been hearing from you these last couple days, this has really become the center of the debate here in El Paso. Yeah, and uh, this plan that we're talking about right now, this uh, seems to be the fix, at least for now. This is a collaborative effort between U.S. border officials and their counterparts on the southern side of the border. We're talking about the Mexican authorities. The idea here is that the Mexican authorities can stop these large crowds of migrants from getting up north, up close to the border that you see behind me. It's a plan that not everyone is in favor of. At its peak last weekend, El Paso's border had 2,000 illegal crossings in just one day. The most recent numbers from Customs and Border Protection show it's now down by a third. Border officials credit what they're calling mirrored enforcement with Mexican authorities for the small drop. In fact, our drone video in one stretch of the border showed a lot fewer migrants making it across. Migrants advocates we spoke with call this a temporary and inhumane fix. What problems do you see with this type of an effort? Well, I, I think there's there's a number of problems. The first one is that these kind of solutions do not recognize the real problem, which is the reasons why migrants are being displaced in Mexico, not only in Central America, but in Mexico and Venezuela and Central America because of violence, because of economic distress. So this enforcement only approach, like this deportation approach, don't resolve anything. Fernando Garcia is the director of the Border Network for Human Rights. So for me, what is happening today is the United States border has been expanded to southern Mexico. Now the whole Mexico is part of the, the U.S. border strategy. He's against Mexican authorities setting up checkpoints, detaining and deporting migrants south of the border. In a statement, CBP's Commissioner Troy Miller stated the importance of reiterating the need for coordinated engagement to include mirrored patrols with local Mexican law enforcement agencies. Do you think migrants are going to find a new way to get here? Sí. Yes, says Venezuelan asylum seeker Elise Sousa. She showed us images of her trek north and says she encountered so much extortion from Mexican authorities that this new enforcement south of the border could be avoided if you pay off officials. Dice usted que los inmigrantes algunas veces pagan una extorsión para llegar. You say sometimes they have to pay extortion fees to get here? Sí, hay muchos inmigrantes que... She says the authorities extort people into paying money in order to get to the next leg in their journey. She was brought to tears just thinking about what she had to endure to get here. Meanwhile, Garcia says the solution lies in new policies to welcome asylum seekers like Sousa, not by national militaristic enforcement of the border. Let's figure out who, who is fleeing from violence, give them a solution. Let's figure out who is, who, who is looking for a job that we need in the United States. So let's find a way to bring those workers legally. You know, when you speak to folks here on the border who are dialed into the issue, who are monitoring this on a daily basis, they tell us that uh, this is the third wave that they have seen. All of this started uh, late last year, they say, and they are anticipating that there will be more waves in the future. They just don't know how many and what exactly that will look like. That's the very latest live out here along the border in El Paso. Ken Molestina, CBS News, Texas. Some great insight for us, Ken. Thank you so much.